Lee Nation TV, welcome back to the channel, guys. Do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video, hit that notification bell so anytime I drop a video, you guys can be notified. Let's get it. All right. Man, the internet's been on fire for the last week since I've been uh, off the internet. I haven't made any videos. I've just been working, going to work, you know, doing my thing, trying to, you know, you know, take care of business. And uh, but at the same time, I've been on the internet. There's a lot of people that I that I listen to on the internet, and there's three people that I be listening to on the internet. One of them's Whack 100, one of them's DJ Academics, and another one is Hassan Campbell. And you guys are more than welcome to go check those those people out if you don't already know them. I'm not sure if you're into that type of uh, conversation that they that, that that they put out. You know different strokes for different folks you know people have different styles right but these guys right here these three uh, podcasters and youtubers are three of the biggest podcasters and youtubers on the channel I, of course you got bigger ones right but of the ones that i listen to they're like the biggest ones and if you know whack 100 you guys know that he used to manage the game who's a hip-hop artist out of california right and so like i said he used to manage the game he also managed um, Blueface, who's a new artist right now. I'm not into his music, so I really can't tell you anything about that, brother. But I just know that um, I know he manages him, right? Also, he uh, used to... He Somebody told me, man, that he used to be a driver for Suge Knight back in the day. I also heard that, too. I really can't confirm that information because everything that I'm getting, people, is off the internet, right? I don't know none of these people, so let me put that out there. So if there's any information that I'm getting wrong on here, feel more than free to hit me in my comment section. Let me know where I got it wrong. That way I can get it right. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Whack 100 is uh, a big YouTuber and podcaster now. He has a thing called something like the Clubhouse. I'm not sure how that works, but it's a form, a platform where you can call in and you can get to talk to Whack 100 himself if he's in that room. And there's so many people in these rooms. They're like chat rooms, right? And there's like, and the people who call from all over, you know, the United States. And I'm gonna tell you in those rooms, basically it's a lot of gang members and other people that's in that room, right? And that conversation that goes on in that room, you know, for some people's ears, it might not be, you know, might not, might not be your cup of tea. But this story right now has been trending so much on the internet. I had to cover it because a friend of mine asked me about it. So, plus I listened to it to myself. So I'm just putting it out there on my channel and giving you my opinion about what I think is going on. Now, like I said, so that's a little breakdown about WAC 100. Like I said, he's in the music industry. He has a couple uh, artists, and he's also a big YouTube and podcaster on YouTube. Now, also you have, and he's from the West Coast, right? So you also have Hassan Campbell. Uh -huh. Hassan Campbell is from the East Coast. Uh, big YouTuber. And Hassan, Hassan Campbell ha ha has a... Um, a check, not a really, I say, no, I don't want to use that word, a checkered pass, but he was molested as a young kid, right? And he puts that out there. Everybody knows he was molested, and he actually was molested by uh, one of the uh, hip hop artists from way back in the day. Uh, older people uh, from the East Coast, they know who I'm talking about, and that's uh, Afrika Bombada. He used to have that song called The Soul Sonic Force. And it was alleged that he, I'm not sure if there's a court case or any court documents behind this case or anything like that about, about those allegations, but that's what was alleged. I'm not sure. I wasn't there. I don't know, but he puts it out there and he says that he was molested by this man. I'm not sure if he was charged, if that guy was charged or anything like that. But anyway, he's, he's, he's come on with his life and he's become a big YouTuber with a lot, a lot of subscribers, right? Now, when you listen to Hassan Campbell, you're either going to like him or you're not going to like him. Me, myself, I, there's some things that come out of his mouth that I agree with. And then there's some other stuff that's kind of, you know, that's not for me. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, he has a really huge platform. So in DJ Academics, last but not least, DJ Academics... Man, this dude right here, he's been, uh, I've been listening to this dude for about three, four, about three years now. And he's been covering, he covers a lot of stuff, right? Him and Whack 100, 
Uh, he also was covering 6 9 That's how him and 6 9 6 9 DJ Academics, and Wack 100, that's how they be got so tight with each other. Because I think DJ Academics was probably covering 6 9 first. And then he, here comes, you know, uh, Wack 100. And then he's seen, I think he's seen a bag. And he started interviewing the dude, kind of like took him up under his wing, you know what I'm saying? At the time when everybody was calling this kid a rat. Because 6 9 if you don't know, he's a hip-hop artist from New York City. And he's from a blood gang. And he snitched on his gang for a whole variety of different reasons. And that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother uh, video. But anyway, like I said before, so he took that kid up under his wing. And I think what happened, 6 9 uh, and Wack 100 we're going to have an interview with Hassan Campbell. Now, I'm not sure if they were interviewing each other. Or, or what was going on, but they did it on DJ Academics' platform, right? They did it on there. It was like kind of like a podcast. And so they're all sitting there, and they're and they're talking, going back and forth. But before they even got to talk, you know, to, you know, to sit down and talk about it, Hassan Campbell alleges that Wack 100 came up to him and asked him if he could talk to him about the situation he had when he was younger, about the molestation. And from what I understood... Hassan Campbell said, sure. And they were talking about it, right? So, that's neither here nor there. They had that podcast. They sat down. They talked. According to Hassan Campbell, everything was cool. Everything was jovial, right? Now, fast forward later on, WAC 100 gets on one of those clubhouse chat rooms, and he's saying, telling all those people in that chat room how he pressed Hassan Campbell about him being molested, how he... uh you know, just all kind of crazy talk, weird talk. You got to hear this guy talk to understand what I'm talking about. And if you already heard him talking, you know what I'm talking about, right? And if you've seen the video, you really know. So I'm just giving you my opinion. So, yeah. So he say he pressed him. It gets back to her son that he's on these chat rooms. He's talking all this stuff. Wooty woo. Next thing you know, I think they have a conversation again on, um, on uh, DJ Academics. Where Hassan Campbell presses whack about why you telling people that you pressed me when you know it wasn't. You didn't press me. It was all love and it was all smiles when you came. And if you would have done something, you know, I guess Hassan said that he had people upstairs. He had people downstairs and he was ready to go or whatever if something was to jump off. Well, he was talking like that. And the next thing you know, Whack 100, I mean, he just turns left, start talking crazy to this kid, right? He's talking crazy to son. He's talking like real reckless, right? About this, that, and the other. And my man's is like, man, you need to chill, you know. But, you know, if you know Wack, he's going to do what he's going to do. He's going to talk reckless. So, Hassan breaks a recording out on this kid, right? I guess they had a conversation where they had talked on the phone for nearly two hours, right? For somebody you don't know, and you talk on the phone for two hours, right? And he's from a totally different coast, right? You're from the West Coast, and he's from the East Coast. And the next thing you know, you're telling him all these politics and the stuff that goes on on your side on, on, and on the West Coast, right? Talking down on people, talking real reckless about a lot of people, right? So Hassan breaks that recording out, right? Now, it's a two-hour recording. He only releases snippets of it, right? And the snippets that he released wasn't good. So let me tell you about one of the snippets that's getting that's trending right now, that's getting most of the views, and people are, are in an uproar about it, right? Everybody knows Nipsey Hussle, right? Nipsey Hussle got killed a couple years ago. Uh, he's a Rolling 60 Crip from um, California. And, um, you know, yeah, he lost his life. And he was married to London, I think Lauren, Lauren London, right? And she's a she's an act, actress. And so he lost his life, you know, to some uh, basically gang violence. He was killed by somebody that was from his own hood, basically, right? For uh, calling 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 him a snitch is what I heard. A lot of people like to say that was a hit. We're not going to get into that right now. We're just going to get into. I'm not sure if it was, if it wasn't, right? We're just going to get into the to the statement that was made from WAC 100 about a deceased man, Nipsey Hussle, right? Now, here it goes. There's a recording out. He, so, so on that recording that Hassan Campbell leaked, 
since dude was talking all this mess, being mad, crazy, mad, disrespectful to him. So he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leak this recording out just to show you, the people, the world, how what, what kind of guy this guy really is, right? And so he said he never really liked Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle to begin with, right? So WAC 100 says he has a tape that he has seen of Nipsey Hussle and his baby's mother having sex with one of his friends. And during the sexual encounter that they're having, uh, Nipsey, Nipsey goes and kisses his woman in the mouth after she had sexual intercourse with um, his best friend or his, or his gang partner or whatever you want to call it. You know, you gotta be a best friend if you let your if you if, if you let him do. That's not funny, but you gotta be be a best friend if you let him do that to your woman. You know, to do you know to do your woman like that, right? So anyway, he said he has a tape of that, and he's calling Nipsey Hussle gay now. You know, so I'm not sure if that's true or not, but he's putting some heavy rumors out there about Nipsey Hussle. That's a dead man. You know, God rest his soul, rest in peace. And this brother's out here basically um, assassinating this man's character after he's dead and gone. You see what I'm saying? And there's some more stuff that's on that tape. I'm not gonna get too deep into that tape because he talks about so many people. Now you can imagine that uh, Hassan Campbell only released a snippet of that tape. And he's been releasing those tapes like for the last four or five days. Now, according, uh, according I heard that TMZ didn't even want the tape. I heard that TMZ didn't even want the audio, I'm sorry, not the tape, the audio, because they said once they listened to the audio, they said that somebody's gonna be dead within three months, because this is just starting a, starting a uproar on the internet. Now maybe I was thinking to myself too, now maybe are we being played? Maybe there's some, I mean, behind the scenes, really. A lot of people like to say that Will Smith didn't really get slapped, right? There's a lot of people out there who say that was staged, right? Is this stage, are they playing us for clicks? Are they playing us for views? You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth, creating this, you know, um, this, this drum amongst each other. And may, if that's so, fine. Be, so if that's what you're gonna do for views, some people say, hey, long as your name, my name is in your mouth, I must be on your mind. So I'm, so I'm clicking, I'm, having, I'm talking this story, I'm having a story, I'm talking to you guys about it, right? So, there's something to it, right? I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it because it's just too much mess for me. It's just too much mess, but it's trending so hard on the internet right now, and a friend of mine asked me about it, and we talked about it at work, so I said, well, I might as well talk to it to you guys, and if there's anything that I'm getting wrong on here, feel free to hit my um, comment box and let me know, but I thought that's what I heard. He also said some disparaging things about Big U, who used to manage uh, Nipsey back in the uh, you know back in the day? You know what I'm saying? He used to be Nipsey's manager, and he's a, uh, basically like the leader of the Rolling Sixties out in California. And uh, he said some things about him, you know. And they're supposed to be cool, you know what I'm saying? Well, I thought it was odd at first that a Crip and a Blood, which is I'm not against that, you know what I'm saying? I think that we all should come together, no matter what, we, you know what I'm saying? To me, that's senseless, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, we don't condone the foo foo because you know I, I'm an older, I'm an older, a older guy now, and we've all already been through the trials and the tribulations and and and, and 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 the streets ain't got nothing to offer us right you know what i'm saying but jail and death and with these brothers platforms that they got i hate to see anything happen to either one of them right but you can't keep going to that fire you can't keep going to that well right you can't you can't do it sooner or later you're gonna get burnt you know what i'm saying if somebody tells you that that's hot and you touch it Oh, you got to touch it to know that it's hot? Okay, well, you touched it. But if you keep going back and back and back, you're going to get burnt and you're going to get hurt. And I think that's what this guy's doing as far as WAC 100 is concerned. I don't think that Hassan Campbell should be traveling to the uh, West Coast anytime soon because, you know, he's uh, he's the one who leaked the, aud the audio. And we don't know how people feel. A lot of people love Nipsey Hussle. You know, the marathon continues. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and even though this brother, you know, I'm not sure. Tell me, guys, what do you think? Do you think that that whack one, I mean, that, I'm sorry, that uh, Hassan Campbell should have leaked that audio? Do you think he should have leaked it? 
But that's, I think that WAC 100 got whacked because that's what WAC 100 does. Am I right? If you go over there and you listen to, uh, listen uh, to any of those clubhouse um, uh, rooms that they have, he, he has paperwork on everybody. And, and the reason why I say WAC 100 could be the nicest guy in the world. I wouldn't know it. I'm just saying the way he presents himself on the internet in those clubhouse chat rooms, you know, they call him the bully. Like, he's like a big bully. Like, I mean, but he's not big. He's short and real stockily muscular. But he's like, I don't know if he has a short man complex, but he's gang banged out. I know that. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I think he's in his 40s. You, and, and, and he challenges everybody to a fade. But I've yet to see him pull up on one yet. You know what I'm saying? I did see, see him in a fight with, with, uh, with these two uh, white guys on the, on the internet. They got into a fight and... And you know, I I don't know, man. I, I I just I'm not with that violence. I'm not with the with the all this craziness. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to you know, these are people's lives that are at stake here. While I'm sitting back and everybody else is sitting back and we're watching um, from afar, right? But these are actually people's lives that we're talking about. And I just don't understand how you would put your life in danger for a click or for a view. That to me doesn't make any sense, right? I don't really want to. I'm not gonna. Well, not really, but I'm not selling my soul for a, for a click or for a view. I'm just gonna get on here and express my opinion about things that go on. You know, sometimes it could be funny, sometimes it could be sad. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, I believe somebody's actually gonna get hurt, and I don't want nobody to get hurt. I don't want to click or a view behind one of these brothers getting hurt. So I wish them all well. I wish them all well, and I just wish they stopped this foolishness. You know what I'm saying? You know, I wish they would, could come to the table. They were supposed to start a podcast together. That's why they initially had the meeting in the first place. You know, Hassan Campbell says he has a clothing line. Black 100 was supposed to help him get that clothing line off. But then again, I heard that, you know, Wack was trying to get him out to uh, California, and he was going to do him dirty. When he got him out there in the land, out in California, you know what I'm saying? He was going to do him dirty. So you got to be careful in today's times, man. Everybody's not your friend, you know what I mean? And with friends like WAC 100, who needs them? You know what I'm saying? It's better to just stay by yourself, handle your business. And and and, and what this brother is into right now, I really don't, like I said, I don't know him. I really don't. I don't know him. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not condoning none of it. I'm not cheering up for, I'm not a cheerleader for Hassan Campbell. I mean, Hassan Campbell, there's a lot of things that he does on there. Just like, like one minute when you be like, man, I can rock with this dude. You know what I'm saying? He's saying some stuff. Then he gets kind of weird on you. You know what I'm saying? He get weird on you and stuff, man. And I, I ain't with all that, that, all that, all that, man. You got to be consistent with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell my bosses, I mean, y'all got to be consistent with me. Don't come one way, one way. One day and then the next week, nah, man, you got to be consistent. We grown men up in here, you know what I'm saying? And for us, to, you can't talk. I don't condone talking to people like that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like bullies. You know, I don't. So, like I said before, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot more stuff. This is an ever-changing story. He, he's only released maybe what? <laughs> maybe a half an hour of, the, of those tapes. He said he has two hours. So there's a lot of stuff that a lot of more content that he's gonna come, and I believe he wants you to pay for it to get it. That's probably why I couldn't get that, uh, couldn't get the the the, uh, the audio. I think they want you to go to his Patreon and pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I think I can just tell you myself. I'm not paying for it. I can describe it to you, but it's out there. You can go to other people's channels and you can listen to it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then you can you you you, you can judge for yourself. But I think somebody's going to get hurt if they don't stop this mess real soon. I'm not wishing it. I mean, but it's just plain as day. The writing's on the wall. And, you know, I don't know if they're trying to make this into some kind of East Coast, West Coast things. I, please, people, don't play into that. That, that. That's foolishness right there. This is grown, grown, man. Not too grown. I mean, I mean, I mean they too grown. I mean, to be acting the way they acting. See, they're almost as grown as I am, but they out here acting foolish like that, bro. Come on, man. We don't get down like that.
You know what I'm saying? We trying to do something. We trying. To, it's a, we like like Nipsey said. It's a marathon. We gonna keep it moving. We trying to push a movement, man. Trying to better ourselves, man. Trying to make our day every day better than the next, right? Robbie Nation TV. Click that like button, please. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share the video with somebody. Tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? Robbie Nation TV. We out.